Hi, uh, good morning. I'm uh, Alexandro Bonifaz. I'm working in the Dermatology Service and Mycology Department of the General Hospital uh, of Mexico, El Hospital General de México. Uh, I'm going to talk about uh, the sporotrichosis, this uh, important mycosis, and uh, I have three objectives of uh, my lecture. It's the first one is to understand the epidemiology and pathogenesis of this uh, disease. The second is to be aware of how the diagnosis of sporotrichosis is made, and of course to be able to treat uh, the confirmed cases of this mycosis. As you know, sporotrichosis is a mycosis, it's endemic in some areas. This disease uh, has a wide spread endemic mycosis. Uh, it could be a subacute or chronic uh, course of this, uh, of this uh, uh, disease. And uh, it's, uh, uh, this uh, is caused by a dimorphic uh, fungus, it's a complex, called Sporotrix schenki. Majority of the cases of sporotrichosis are located in cutaneous and subcutaneous uh, tissue, tissues, affected uh, different uh, lymphatic vessels, no? and sometimes bones and joints. No? And it's important to stress that uh, we have uh, a small uh, outbreaks, special familiar uh, breaks in people who live in, in some area. But now, the most important outbreak is, uh, uh, is acting in, in, in uh, Brazil with a, a lot of cases. No? Uh, the epidemic of sporotrichosis in animals affects uh, are reported like a zoonosis. If you uh, show you a cat affected with this uh, uh, fungus, uh, it's an it's a, it's a important disease that with uh, affection we disseminated. But in uh, different animals uh, could occur this disease in dogs, cats, birds, uh, and different uh, uh, rodents. The etiology. We have a complex composed by uh, several species. We, we have three majors. Sporotic Schenke sensu stricto is the most uh, important and most frequent. Uh, Sporotic uh, brasiliensis is located in Brazil and uh, mainly uh, cat transmitted and Sporotic globosa. Uh, three minor species with a few cases is Sporotic pallida, Sporotic mexicana, and Sporotic lurei. Uh, it's important to, to know the, this species, not for the clinical, but if you want to know the antifungal susceptibility is necessary to isolate the fungus. Remember that the Sporotix uh, Schenke sensulatu is a dimorphic uh, fungus that uh, we can find different uh, parts uh, of the earth, in soil, in the in, uh, decaying material, in the decomposing the, the vegetation, uh, on plant material, on woods. Remember that this is a, a dimorphic, that uh, this fungus has two phases, the gist phase and the mycelium phase. The gist uh, phase is uh, uh, we can uh, uh, isolate the fungus in a rich media uh, with this uh, temperature. Um, the epidemiology of this disease is, uh, remember that this is the most uh, widespread endemic mycosis, but uh, here in this uh, uh, table, you can uh, see the different uh, reports. For example, Mexico has about uh, 2,000 uh, cases, and uh, South Africa or Japan, they have report uh, about uh, 3,000 uh, cases. On the other hand, the countries with the, ma the major uh, reports are China and Brazil. Actually, uh, Brazil is uh, related with this outbreak. Other countries with uh, Important reports are Peru, Colombia, or uh, Uruguay and, and Guatemala. In Europe, are reported in, uh, in uh, a few countries like Spain, France, and uh, Germany. Uh, remember that we have three species. Sporotix uh, brasiliensis is located only in Brazil, and especially in the south in, in Brazil, the south of Brazil, in the Rio de Janeiro uh, area. 
uh, on the other hand, the Sprotix lobosa is uh, from uh, Asia, but uh, we have uh, some reports in uh, America. And Sprotix uh, Schenkis sensu stricto, we have two clades, the clade 2A and 2B. And the most important is the clade uh, 2B. This is the global distribution of the species of Sporotrix. Uh, what happened with the feline uh, transmitted sporotrichosis? Because it's, uh, this phenomenon is really, really interesting. No? Uh, here in this uh, graphic, you, here you can see the, the first report uh, were in 1998. And uh, now, uh, currently, the number of the cases are about of 10,000 uh, cats affected. And these uh, are related with about 4,000 uh, of human cases. Remember that this is an important zoonosis. This uh, disease is changing with uh, this, uh, co this conduct of this. Um, related with the pathogenesis, remember that this is a classical traumatic uh, infection. It's an implantation mycosis. Um, general, uh, the, the source is splinters, thorns of uh, animal bites, special by rodents, uh, bites like rats or, or mouses or squirrels. So we have different uh, species, bats too. Uh, a few cases uh, are uh, located in uh, primary pulmonary. This is in this is by inhalation of the, fung of the fungal. And remember that uh, this disease has a um, determinated uh, incubation period about if you have a patient with an inoculation, after three weeks, you can start this disease. No? Uh, the, uh, there are no gender preference. The radio is male to female, one to one. And in our experience, one third of the cases are located in children. Uh, the most important uh, uh, the, the, a younger, uh, is, this is, this is uh, from young adults, about 30% uh, of the cases. And remember that this disease could uh, uh, change the, the conduct if we have dissemination. If we uh, choose uh, the, the clinical manifestation, remember that uh, sports is a classical polymorphic the disease. Uh, the lymphocutaneous uh, spoticosis is the most important, with about of 70% of the cases. Even the, uh, the name of uh, sporoticoid uh, pattern is by lymph lymphocutaneous. This uh, lymphocutaneous uh, occurs uh, always in, uh, in especially in affecting the lymphatic vessels. And uh, remember that uh, this is uh, located in a uh, upper limbs, uh, the majority of these cases. The second is the fixed cutaneous sporticosis. It's limited. It's uh, only one lesion, uh, like uh, verrucose or vegetating uh, manifestation. And if you have a patient with some predisposing factors, like diabetes, uh, chronic alcoholism, or uh, AIDS, you can uh, have disseminated cutaneous or extracutaneous sporoticosis that affect different uh, organs, joints, bones, or different uh, viscera. Here uh, you can see a classical lymphocutaneous sporoticosis that affects uh, uh, special upper extremities, upper limbs. And here you can see the, the classical lesion is a nodule or a goma-like sometimes ulcerate with a uh, pattern lymphatic, is linear and progressive uh, lesion. And this uh, fixed cutaneous sporticosis is a single uh, varicose uh, lesion. Here it's very difficult to, uh, to recognize uh, this type of sporticosis. No? The diagnosis. You can make a direct microscopy, but in our experience only five to ten percent of the cases, uh, you can find the, uh, the gists in the lymphatic or uh, fixed cutaneous. So, the uh, uh, gold standard of diagnosis is to obtain the fungal. You can obtain in several media with this uh, condition, and if you prove the dim dimorphism, <clears throat> Because remember, this is a dimorphic uh, fungus. You can't obtain the gist 
or the mycelium phase, you can prove this fungus. Here in this photo, you can see the classical uh, uh, colony of the uh, fungus. And if you see the microscopy, it uh, looks like a daisy or peach flower. This proves this, this fungus. Mm -hmm. The histopathology uh, has uh, two forms. Two forms generally, uh, the, the patient form a suppurative granuloma or tuberculoid granuloma. But if you have a lymphangitic, it's so difficult to find uh, the gist. But uh, if you have a patient with a disseminated, like this uh, both uh, photos, you can see a lot of uh, gist. Uh, in there are a lot of gist, sometimes like uh, cigar-shaped uh, gists. Especially if you use uh, uh, some uh, stains like uh, Gomori Grocot stain, it's uh, easy to, to see. What happened with the skin test? This skin test is called esporotricin. It's not accepted in all countries, especially in US and uh, Europe. It's not accepted. But in my opinion, it's uh, so useful. If you apply, if you inj inject uh, this antigen, after 48 hours, you can a positive uh, like in this photo. Here you can see the classical uh, lymphatic uh, sporotricosis and this is a positive sporotricin test after 40 hours uh, and this is so useful for this. What happened with the, if you compare the immune response for uh, uh, both uh, types of uh, patients? If you have a normal patient, it's usual you, you will have a lymphangitis or fixed cutaneous uh, cases. And in these cases, a skin test usually is positive. And here is the very difficult to find, to find uh, gist. On the other hand, if you compare with the immunosuppressive or no, uh, on patients with uh, immunocompromised, here you can see cutaneous disseminated pulmonary visceral affection. The skin test normally is negative but in these patients, you can find a lot of gists. The differential diagnosis, keep in mind, chromoblastomycosis and uh, cutaneous tuberculosis too. If you live in esporotin and zones with uh, leishmania, remember that it's so similar to this disease. And uh, for a lymphangitic pattern, uh, keep in mind, non-tuberculosis myco mycobacterial infection, especially uh, when this disease is caused by uh, Mycobacterium marino. And other uh, differential diagnoses include mycetoma, Kaposi sarcoma, and Boruli ulcers. Treatment. Uh, remember that uh, uh, esporticosis could, uh, es could have a spontaneous resolution, but it's rare. The treatment of choice is uh, with use of itraconazole, uh, this oral antimycotic, but you can use oral potassium iodide. It's, it's used, especially in, in uh, some endemic areas. If, if you compare the potassium iodide uh, than itraconazole, in my opinion, uh, potassium iodide is, uh, it is a, a faster, but with more side effects. And uh, uh, if you see in this uh, table, lymph for uh, the treatment for lymph cutaneous and osteoarticular, the treatment is itraconazole with uh, 200 milligrams per day for about uh, four months. Actually, if you have pulmonary meningitis disseminated or patients in uh, pregnancy, the treatment of choice is amphotericin B, and you can combine with itraconazole. And in children, you can use both itraconazole or oral potassium iodide. If you use itraconazole, the dose is about 6 to 10 milligrams per day, uh, per, per day uh, for maximum a doses of 400 milligrams, uh, uh, milligrams uh, of uh, itraconazole. In summary, sporoticosis is an implantation uh, mycosis, it's endemic, is caused by uh, a complex uh, of fungus called uh, Sporotix Schenke. Lymphocutaneous and fixed uh, cutaneous lesions are the most uh, frequent manifestations. And uh, a gold uh, standard of uh, the diagnosis is to obtain a culture 
And uh, this uh, allows to have antifungal susceptibility test testing. And uh, itraconazole is the oral itraconazole of, uh, of choice, and in, especially in cutaneous cases. And in severe cases, you can use like uh, uh, treatment of choice amphotericin B. Combine uh, uh, alone or combine with itraconazole. Thank you very much for your attention.